Welcome back to another episode of Nalios. I think last time I improved things here, or that's at least what I remember, and I wanted to bring down this crushed iron ore even more. And I hope I properly prevented this from ever getting in there. Otherwise I might just try to stop this iron ore from getting there. I think it would still be nice if I had more belts available. I'm not sure why or where they are. If any are delivered to me, I guess just 93 are delivered to me. So what I hope now is that I will stay in the logistic area while building the belt. And hope doesn't always do enough, so I need to actually extend the network myself. And this crushed iron ore will get to the place where I would have crushed this iron ore that's being mined there. I think that's my new main source of iron. Now I need to find this other relay again. And before I step into the next area, always uh, rebuild the relay or the next relay. There is now a little gap, I guess I'll just close that just for fun or just in case I ever go there. It's quite sad that the robots totally forget what they needed to do just because you walk out of the system for a half a second or something. Okay, I guess I'll just try to build this from the distance without actually going there. And this is sand, I guess, which is also produced by some process up there. Now I'm a little bit faster, which makes me also possibly walk out of the network a bit faster. I always have to carry one of these to let the logistics system be shown. Or I always have to hover with that somewhere. At some point I really hope that I can build a systematic relay uh, grid. But I don't have to build them randomly. And now I'm out of belts. I guess in the meantime I might just build the next few relays. And maybe scout out where I want to bring this uh, belt. I'm also getting some belts delivered. Might also plan this out as a ghost. And maybe while I will fetch more belts, these uh, already planned belts will then be built. I'll just walk up somehow through this chaos. Because of this blue smoke, I thought it was green there, but it's probably just blue on orange. I guess the construction bots seem much faster than the logistic bots. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Hmm. 
Not sure if I will get the car out of there ever again. And now I'm just hoping that there is always logistic network everywhere where I go. There are the belts, I guess. And maybe 2000 should be enough for a while. I'll also take more underground belts. And maybe another stack of splitters, just in case, but I don't really use them very often. And I guess it's good that I'm getting a few more relays delivered as well. Not sure what else I might need. I will throw this little iron ore piece into that crusher over there. But I think somehow I don't really need any more iron ore being crushed there. I think I get crushed iron ore at least at the moment enough from this process or maybe I'm not sure where this is going. This is getting combined with the crushed iron ore from the bauxite crushing. I think this is crushing of bauxite ore. And then there are still a lot of these crushed iron ore items. And they are mostly uh, responsible for uh, too much iron ore or crushed iron ore. In the system and then I want to try not to produce too much uncrushed iron ore. So now I'm out of the logistics system. I guess it had to happen at some point. At least now I already have fetched enough belts so not uh, hundreds of robots are flying towards me with belts. I think I'm almost where I need to be. Somewhere just below the the iron belt or iron ore belt, I want to get this through the crushed iron ore from the bauxite and waste reclamation. I think I can do something like this. And then it almost has the same order again as before with the sand between the iron ore and the crushed iron ore. And eventually I hope I can rebuild everything properly in the bus structure. At least for now, I want this crushed iron ore to be delivered to where I'm crushing iron ore before. I'm almost there. And now stuff is taken away from me. I guess I'm trashing limestone. Not sure if this is just going towards storage chests. Okay, can I feed this somewhere where it's useful? I guess this should all be covered by logistic network.
I'm not sure if I want to just feed it in from behind. That might be the most useful way of preventing any more production of this. I'm getting more deliveries, that's quite okay, I guess. And I wonder where this is coming from, why I'm producing this. Coming from there. This might also be the crushing of something else. Okay, I guess rather not. I don't really need to do this. Maybe now is the time to actually stop this from happening. I just want to know if... This is actually only coming from the iron mine down here. I guess it is, so I will just totally remove this line. And I guess this kind of iron production can still stay for a while until I deconstruct it. And I'm sure that I have enough iron being produced in other ways. At least now I'm also making some space here. Never sure where exactly I have power connections, so I will just replace some of those power poles sometimes. I guess this is, the, uh, this is my messy stone area, and I don't really see if I, I I think I didn't connect any necessary stone connection, so maybe this can just go, and I can just throw stone in there. And this is the rest of the crushed iron ore line. This seems to be also, I don't know, does this come from the bauxite crushing? I think this is bauxite ore. Okay, yes, this is probably bauxite being crushed up there. Okay, it's called bauxite, and the crushed product is called crushed bauxite, and then there's also crushed iron ore and sand. Good to know. I sometimes forget these names and the recipes. I'm not sure if I want to keep this here. One problem that I have is that... I'm not sure if this is the same process and if I'm producing enough of these things here that I can just remove the old lines. Eventually I want to do that. So this has probably stopped now. Which might mean that the iron ore production might slow down at some point, but uh, now the iron ore goes through here and gets smelted. I'm not sure how necessary that is. I would have thought that I am producing enough... well, maybe not. I thought I would produce enough iron ingots this way with the fast furnaces and 
graphite. Is this graphite? I always forget if it's graphite or carbon. Not sure if I can find it here. Called graphite. But yeah, there is one full belt of iron ingots. I'm not sure if this is just not enough. It doesn't seem to be moving much. Yeah, it's just um, half of a belt there. And it doesn't really seem to go much further than up till this point. And I should really make this splitter accept things mostly from the left. I guess this is mostly going up there. So these are the two belts I have seen earlier and this is where this gets introduced. Input priority left and also there. So now mostly the, no the new process is used. One thing that I want to or might change now is that some of the iron ingots are going to the steel production down below somewhere there and I also want the new iron ingot process to be dominant there so I don't waste iron that I mine manually or automatically but uh, in a different way. I still want to figure out how I'm making iron ingots there so this is the lime process. This seems to be lime and the, I think this is iron oxide and it's good I think to use iron oxide. I guess I'm producing enough of it. Not sure if it's good to get rid of caustic solution that much, probably. Caustic solution also probably uses um, something uh, salty that I also have a lot of. Where was it? I think this stuff. I think that's sodium hydroxide. And I have many chests full of that stuff and this can be used to make caustic solution if I remember correctly. Yes, there. But I guess output full is what it says, so at least some of the time this doesn't need to produce anything, but it could produce something. So it's good that I still have caustic solution available. I think that's even more sodium hydroxide. I guess that's always a byproduct of splitting saline water into chlorine, oxygen and hydrogen. But yeah, this is a thing I do now. And I think I would like to send iron ingots down somehow. Without interfering too much with other things. So I guess this should be output priority right. So the bus is more important at the moment at least. And now I'm sending a little bit of this iron down. Also, there is more iron ore in a chest. I guess I'll just throw some stuff there. Not sure if the bot doesn't know what to do now. I thought I had not many idle logistic bots, but maybe none of them are idle right now, or all of them are idle, none of them do anything. So I guess once something needs to be done, this bot will also go somewhere. And now I'm not sure if I'm showing all the bots. 
on the minimap, I guess. I'm not showing much there, and it would be quite helpful to see a lot more on the minimap or on the map. All the recipes and things that are going on, and the energy connections. So there's still some space to the left of the bauxite patch that I want to use to build some or make some things that I didn't make yet. Or maybe some of the oil related processing might happen there. Still wonder where some of these iron ingots are going. They are still needed. Um, I was just about to move this further down to the steel production. I guess this is one thing that if I solve this it will help a lot with reducing the old way of making iron. I'm also just reducing or removing these machines to get through here more easily. Limestone, I guess I'll just throw that in a chest somewhere. Together with more iron ore. should actually now be able to just go towards where this iron ingot stream is flowing. Maybe I was a bit impatient in going down there and then I forgot to consider that. I think I could remove this. Okay, now this is hopefully properly connected. And I will just throw these iron ingots in here into the output slots. Okay, I guess I have made some progress in integrating the new way of producing iron. Thank you for watching this episode. See you in the next one.